Now, here's an Italian restaurant you should definitely try because the pastas are great, the pizzas are great, and the antipasto is just insane when you eat here. Sometimes you need a lively place to grab a drink. Other times, you just want a friendly neighborhood spot to have dinner. And no matter what you're looking for, you can find it at Bel Ari on South Street in Boston's Leather District. It definitely feels like a neighborhood place, but it still has that romantic feel if you're out for a special occasion. It also has that family feel if you want a large table and enjoy a grand meal with your whole family. And when it comes to the decor of Bel Ari, owner Mark Tosi is sharing a piece of his own family history in the form of the artwork. Custom paintings of garlic, noodles, and tomatoes, all paying homage to the family business, Pastine Foods, which is the oldest Italian specialty company in North America. So what kind of food does the president of Pastine serve in his restaurant? Italian, of course, with the help of Chef Robert Favman. Order fire, mussels, scallops, flank steak. If you're coming to my restaurant, you're coming to a restaurant like if you were going to Italy today. You're finding what is modern in Italy now with some of the same classic ingredients. This food isn't always about pounding your chest and saying, okay, I can take this dish and reinvent it. It's about respecting the integrity of the dish and the culture and the concept of the restaurant. The food here at Bellari doesn't need any bells and whistles because it's absolutely delicious as is. And when you first see the menu, you may just want to order it all. If that's the case, the staff suggests starting with the Sweetsy section, filled with small plates perfect for sharing. Highlights include the lamb meatballs filled with warm goat cheese and topped with a smoky tomato sauce, a salumi platter boasting prosciutto, salami, and brujol, all imported straight from Italy, and the lobster mac made with dittolini pasta, fontina cheese, and a splash of truffle oil. Lobster mac is lobster mac, but it's not lobster mac. It's Bellari. Flavors jump out and make you really smile when you take a bite. They're wonderful. If you don't feel like sharing, Bellari's menu offers plenty of meals to enjoy all by yourself, like the grilled flat iron steak with a salt crusted baked potato and grilled Caesar salad, the ragu bolognese featuring al dente pasta covered in a rich meat sauce, and the pan seared jumbo sea scallops served over a squash puree. They're huge. We give them a quick sear with a little butter. It's got a nice crispy sear on it and it has a moist, delicate interior. Serve them over pureed butter squash with chipolini onions and crispy pancetta. You don't usually see too much left in the plate when they're finished here. And for another seafood dish that's the lick the bowl kind of good, try the manila clams and mussels. It's a warm marriage of seafood and spicy chorizo with beautiful San Marzano tomatoes. We handpick our seafood, so we're starting with great product. We get a very hot pan, throw in some chorizo, add the clams and the mussels, a little bit of chili, a little white wine, we steam open the shellfish, serve it with some grilled bread. Save your bread to slap up the sauce because the zuppa is something out of your mind. If your idea of Italian food is a good pizza, Bellari has you covered with their traditional margarita pie studded with creamy buffalo mozzarella. If someone comes in and orders a margarita, I think their expectation is great pizza dough, San Marzano tomato sauce, buffalo mozzarella, and basil. It comes out delicious. Or try the more adventurous pizza a la spinaci with artichoke hearts, Italian bacon, caramelized onions, and fontina cheese. It's a delicious, rich, sweet pizza because of the caramelized onions and it's got beautiful saltiness from the pancetta. Everybody's always been very satisfied with that pizza. Not the flavors you would always expect on a classic pizza that you're only gonna find here at Bel Ari. And nothing completes a beautiful Italian dinner quite like an order of decadent tiramisu. Here at Bellari, they make theirs fresh daily. What's an Italian restaurant without a tiramisu? It's a pretty classic recipe. We do use a combination of Bailey's, an orange liqueur, and a coffee liqueur in it. Super delicious, topped with cocoa powder. It's our number one selling dessert. But even if you choose to skip dessert, these guys always want you to leave their restaurant on a sweet note. We're here to make people feel comfortable and feel welcome. I want people to come in and feel like they're walking into my home. I believe in hospitality. Yeah.